What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Demetrius Andre and Jaime Munguia. This is what Demetrius Andre said about the former uh, world champion Jaime Munguia. He says that Jaime Munguia is the WBO mandatory for his middleweight title, but Oscar De La Hoya is not ready to take the diaper off and make a fight. Wow. Um... This is quite interesting because, like I've told you guys, Demetrius Andre is in a situation where he's not popular enough to be desired, but he's good enough to be avoided, okay? Um, I think he had a lot of bad business decisions, and um, Jaime Munguia, he's a seat filler, okay? He's one of those guys that gives you action-packed fights. He kind of puts you in the mind. He kind of resembles um, a younger uh, Fernando Vargas, but a lot bigger. Cause I think he's about six foot six, one, whereas, you know, Fernando Vargas was, I think, what about five ten. but you know, he is a guy that is an action pack fighter. I think this should be the fight to be made. I think Demetrius Andre should get with, um, Eddie Hearn and contact Oscar De La Hoya about that fight. Now, I don't know how true that is, but I know Demetrius Andre gets overlooked and frankly downright insulted at times when he when he tries to make a possibility of a fight with any of these guys. Now, um, I think this would be a great fight. I would love it because they're both on the zone. Well, I know Oscar De La Hoy is planning to go to Triller or whatnot because, you know, he got, you know, shit face drunk. And he's kind of like him and Snoop Dogg and all those guys. They're over there now. He might be. So that might be uh, a difficult task to make. But I know he was with DAZN. And I think this would be a great DAZN fight. Um, D Demetrius Andre, if he could get a fight with Jaime Munguia, he would do something that Canelo said that he would never do. Fight another Mexican. So, um then if you have a name like Jaime Munguia, you're the guy that dethrones the undefeated guy. You know, but it makes sense that Oscar De La Hoya wouldn't want to do that because let's let's say um, Demetrius beats him, okay? And what would you what would we have for Jaime Munguia? Oscar De La Hoya knows what he's doing. You know, he's he knows that he lost Canelo, so he can't afford to give his fighter uh, away to the possibility of getting beat by someone with the skill set of Demetrius Andre. So. Demetrius Andre, he's he's had a shitty end of the deal, though. I, I think uh, his career is kind of mm, it's stagnant, to say the least. OK, um, Demetrius Andre, he needs fights, though, you know, regardless of what his career was. He needs to fight now and he needs big fights. He needs to get fights to the point that Canelo Alvarez can't say what he told him when he was asking him, when can we fight and what the response was of El Cinnamon. OK, but anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Demetrius Andre calling out the mandatory WBO. Jaime Munguia, tell me what you think. Please subscribe and you guys can counterpunch.